block for Spunk Man. He has never defeated Drunk Missile in tournament. Okay. So we'll see. I'm excited. If today is the day. Losers. Finals. Okay, start the round with some quick low short checks. He's doing a very good job keeping Venus mid screen. That's where he wants to. Yeah, very nice, uh, very nice control of the space going on here. Oh, Ooh, man, that's not a good jump. Yeah, I. And now he's in the corner. He's in trouble. Swankman does not get good mileage out of those, uh, out of those wall jumps. Whoa, very good, very good fireball. That's a good wake up tornado. If you can just... Oh, yes! Wow. That's it. Wow, that throw did a lot of damage. Very impressed by how he was able to jump over that fireball. That was close. I I thought he got hit. <laughs> that was a good guard cancel, yes. Ooh. Trick Missile going back to his walk-up sweeps. Oh! Not a favorable trade there. This is uh this is the matchup of Fireball Corner Oki. Oki. Okazumi. Wow, just very, very solid neutral from both players. Right. Uh kind of want to see Swankman play a little more of the zoning game. He's kind of playing in Venus's range, which is that, you know, close mid-range. Right. Like and, yeah, Mercury can be strong there, but I want to see some bubbles. So I think that's where he's going to excel here. Oh, this is a good good position to have Venus in. Oh, oh my is god. Is that a combo? I have no idea. What happened there? Well, he uh, ate it meaty. Oh, Swankman oh! special! But it happen anyway. By the way, Spoinkman knows about the Spoinkman special. Nice. I, I had to out it to him. I couldn't just I couldn't just keep him in the dark about that. Well, if you're gonna if you're gonna mock somebody, do it their, to their face. <laughs> I mean, he he places better than me every tournament. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, it's just, no disrespect. Just a rib. Just, just stop playing on a hitbox. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh. Whoa! Threw him out of a guard cancel. Good good use of that wall jump trying to get out of the corner. However, it looks like he might be back into the corner. Yeah, even if he gets out of the corner, it's, it's pretty easy to chase it down. Whoa! That was a good uh, cancel out the fireballs. No! And random okay. super did not pay off. Well, he managed to backdash out of that fireball successfully. Ended up eating the sweep after. But as carefully as Drunk Missile uses Venus... Uh, random super with Mercury is probably not going to work. Ah, oh, Spointman. He's got to find these anti-airs. Even, uh, even if it's just a guard cancel bird kick, he's got to he's got to find something here. But then again, you know, <laughs> as soon as I as soon as I look at Whoa, the health good, bars, good he's been. You know, it seems like he's been getting a lot of trades in neutral, but they've clearly been all in his favor. Right. Whoa, that was a good way to start the round, for sure. Always is with Mercury. Move a little forward, stand light kick. Oh, no. Fighting real hard to get out of this corner. And he did it. Ooh. Ooh. Drunk missile back dashing out of that, uh, out of that jump in does not want to deal with the mix-up after. More special with Mercury's throw range. Oh, man. That uh, would have been an amazing time to use a spinning bird kick. Yep. He needs to. He definitely needs to find his anti-airs, because that's killing him right now. Spinning bird kick, not a great move to be throwing out all the time, but it is... It is very, a solid anti-air. Solid anti-air, especially on clutch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you don't use it too often, your opponent may forget that you have it. Yeah, it does have a nice low hurt box. And worst case scenario, guard cancel tornado, always a good choice. He's got to find something, even a jump up light kick, something. He's getting eaten alive. Oh, 
Oh, Spoink man. Man has not. It seems like the ma major hole. In tournament before. The major hole in his uh, game appears to be that that bubble spray. Um, and like I was saying earlier. Seems like every time Drunk Missile gets the upper hand, it's because of a bubble jumping over a bubble spray. Hey, maybe it was better that he didn't take my advice and start playing the zoning game. Oh my god! Yep. Even when it's off screen, it's still there. Honestly, I think. He'd be better in a lot of these situations just trying to eat the pressure because everybody sees that wall jump coming. Oh. Uh, he's got he's to gotta find his anti-airs. That's killing him right now. Drunk Missile taking another game very quickly. He's starting to see the cracks in Spunkman's gameplay right now. Seems unless it's preemptive with the tornado or something, Spunkman's just not doing a whole lot of anti-airing. Right. And you can't do that, especially with a character like Venus, who has such good jump normals. Alright. Decent wake-up option with Tornado. Oh. I was expected a sweep to punish that. Didn't have it, unfortunately. Whoa! Okay, incidental anti-air. That was a good back dash. Yeah, did a double back dash, try to escape the pressure. Spoinkman chased it down. Whoa! Go! Oh my god! Alright. Just barely. Match point. For Drunk Missile. Spoinkman needs to win this to stay alive. Looks like Drunk Missile wants to just end this. And is being very aggressive right now. All right, he actually managed to get the corner with that jump. Very smartly placed. Very careful, very careful with those bubble sprays at close range. Jumped into the flash kick fireball again. For every one that works, there's another three that fail. It's a little, a little more discerning. Oh, it just seems like once he's in the corner, that's his first idea. It just seems like you can jump in on yep. Spunkman for free. All right. Three one. Drunk missile. Spikeman needs to work on an answer to those jump-ins. Yeah, for sure. Especially against a character like Venus. Especially when he can control the ground so well with his character. Only way you can make someone respect your ground game is by respecting your anti-airs. 